start this live uh, broadcast just trying to figure out how to share this into other groups there we go uh, or another page even Let's see if I can put this into oh, I can't share it into a group I thought I could share it to another page let me just see if I can do that Oh, I'm struggling to see how I can share this into the World Magic Shop page. But uh, I just wanted to come on here on the live feed just to say that Wizard product review is 10 years old today. I actually can't believe it. We're going through strange times. I hope you all are staying safe. Bit of a cliche during these modern times, I know. But uh, yeah, just wanted to come on here and really say thanks for watching for all these years uh, myself and Sean Hayden recorded a show towards the end of last week it's not our best show uh, it was difficult we did it in the garden with social distancing in place but uh, I thought it was an important show to do even though if I'm honest with you with lots of things going on at the moment personal things obviously this thing that's affecting everybody I didn't really feel like doing it, but I thought it was important to do it because I really appreciate everybody that tunes in every Wednesday, bi-weekly now that we do the show. And so we decided to record something. So we've got three reviews on there. We did some uh, uh, the launch of a new product. We chatted to Sean, obviously, about what's been going on with him at the moment. Uh, Amit, I see, is watching. Amit got a mention on the show as well because I tried to recall everybody that's been a co-host on the Wizard Product Review over the past 10 years. I actually can't believe it. Um, I'm, uh, I spoke to Craig Petty about half an hour ago. He was unaware of this milestone, probably too, uh, too busy. Uh, I asked him if I could bring him on camera and have a chat with him and just reminisce about the first time we started doing it. But he's doing a Zoom show at the moment, a Zoom children's party, but maybe he'll be free in 15 minutes ago, 15 minutes time or something. I'm just having a walk with my co-host Blamo at the moment. And we're in a place in Northampton called... Uh, Delapree Abbey, which is a lovely place to bring in, especially when it's quite hot because it's, it's quite shaded with all the trees and that kind of thing. But uh, I know Lee Smith says 10 years. What? Yeah, I know Lee. That's why we filmed the show. It's, it is incredible. I can't believe that it's been going for 10 years. One thing we didn't discuss on the show was how it pretty much started, the Wizard Product Review, and... I was running World Magic Shop with Jim Trainer and John Farr and just came up with the idea of doing reviews. And first of all, we tried filming them with just Craig because Craig is always very opinionated, but in a good way when it came to magic products and uh, sort of stuck Craig in front of the camera and I was just filming it because I always enjoy filming and making uh, little projects and trailers and that kind of thing. And uh, I remember, I think he was looking at the Doug Henning book. And I'd read the book as well as Craig. And Craig was doing the review. And I was kind of like telling him, oh, you should mention this, you should mention that. And I think there was a point where we realised we should be kind of doing it together, really and talking about the stuff so for the first four or five years it was just me and Craig Petty on the sofa and a lot's changed the first first shows we did had to be limited to 15 minutes and YouTube was like that in those days if you didn't have a really huge account and uh, we had to limit it to like 14 and a half minutes and try and stop the broadcast just before the end or you couldn't upload it and uh, it kind of took off and people really really liked it and when we went to america magic live the the amount of support that we got from everybody overseas was quite incredible but yeah it's 10 years today 
since that show came out, since our first broadcast. We are launching a new product today at World Magic Shop as well, which is uh, the World Magic Shop gaff deck. I'll tell you more about that on the show, which is coming up in 40 minutes time. 40 minutes time for the Wizard product review, 10 year anniversary special. I wish it could have been a bit more spectacular, but we just filmed it in the garden. Uh, we did everything we could to make it as good as it possibly could be. Let's see who's uh, watching here. Uh, Emerson says, we'd love to see uh, you and Craig on the Wizard product review. Uh, well, I might be able to bring him on here. He's normally too busy to be on the Wizard product review these days. And a lot of people say, why is Craig not on the Wizard product review anymore? And I've heard loads of rumours over the years about big falling outs and that kind of thing. The, the truth is, we haven't fallen out. I speak to Craig quite a lot. And uh, World Magic Shop used to be based in Birmingham, which was like a 20-minute train ride from Craig's house. So it was very easy for him to come in, meet me and Jonathan Farr at the Birmingham headquarters, look over some magic, and it was fun. And it always is fun to look through the latest magic with your friends, and we just decided to review it as well. The reason he stopped, we tried to carry on when we moved to the Coventry area, but that was like two train rides now, so it was getting harder, and it mean, meant that Craig who is incredibly busy doing his non-stop kids business, having to give up a whole day rather than just a morning. Or sometimes we, fil we film the Wizard product review at sort of 7, 8 in the morning once when he had a gig on just to make sure we got it live in time for that 12 o'clock Wednesday slot. But, um, but yeah, when we moved to Coventry, it was harder and harder for him to get there. And then when we went just online and just operating from our houses, it was near on impossible, absolutely impossible. So that's the reason Craig's not involved anymore. He simply lives too far. Uh, so Lee Smith said he's pleased to have had 99% a couple of times with Gary Jones' app of the month. I'm, I must think that must be that social media app. Um, and... Uh, just reading through the comments. Jason, thank you so much. You guys are doing a great job at Prop Dog. Uh, now being, you know, such a great shop that sells all the magic. Uh, at World Magic Shop now, we only sell our own products and we just want to focus on just our own product line. But I always admire shops like Prop Dog that do it so well and supply everybody. Nigel says, will there be any more Wizard product reviews? Of course there will, Nigel. Of course there will. But do you know what? It just doesn't feel the same at the moment. Even the one we filmed today in the garden, there was a part of me that... It's hard to explain, but for me, the Wizard product review is not just what you see on film. It, it is about spending time with my friends and... Wayne and Sean are two of my best friends in magic and the, the process of filming the Wizard product review is hours and hours of talking on the phone, which obviously we can still do, but then normally Wayne and Sean will, will meet me in Northampton, we'll go out and have breakfast and plan out, yes it is planned, uh, what we're going to talk about and how we're going to discuss things and then we might go and have lunch. Um, and, and then we'll actually get to start filming it. But we can't do that at the moment. And like the, the one this week, Sean came round sort of early part of last week, handed him the products at social distancing. And then he came round to my house, came into the back garden. We sat two metres apart and filmed the show. For me, that's not what it's all about. And I, I want to... I want it to get back to what it was, which is very difficult to do during these socially distant times. But as soon as we can get back to actually operating in that sort of way, 
I will get back to filming wizard product reviews because talking about magic with my friends is just something I've really, really enjoyed for the last 10 years. <laughs> 10 years of the wizard product review. It is incredible. Uh, a lot of people watching. Uh, Paul, Paul Rothman, great magician, really commercial worker who's in LA at the moment. He says he always watches from across the pond. Camera, he's actually coming on camera. I think it's adding him. He's probably just got up. It says connecting. It sounds pretty terrible, Tom. pocket and he, he doesn't know that this is connected. No, he's probably surprised by that. Maybe the honourable thing to do would be to disconnect right now. Uh, you without him. I just saw Jonathan Farr is watching. Let's bring John on camera. I'm going to add John, unless he's... Uh, no, it's half term at the moment, so he's not working. John is now a school teacher. But you're so loud, I'm trying to listen. <laughs> <laughs> we heard that bit. What? <laughs> we, we heard you there telling somebody off. Who are we telling off? <laughs> a little Italia. She's doing a TikTok video. And, Dad, you just ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> So, John, what have you got to say about 10 years of the Wizard product review? John, get it off the sticks, was a catchphrase for a long time. What have you got to say about this? I think it's incredible. So, I mean, 10 years has gone so fast. Um, I mean, it's been, it's been a fun ride, and there's been lots of exciting things and great products that have been reviewed. It's just been a whirlwind. It's been brilliant. And what, what do you reckon, what's your favourite review that we've ever reviewed? You must have a personal favourite. Because we, haven't we laughed a lot over the last 10 years? Oh my gosh, yeah, like no end. Um, my first, my favourite review, I just remember doing the Jonathan Pendragon sketch where I got shot on the <laughs> sofa. <laughs> That's the yes, we uh, We've had some controversy over the time, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. But no, it's good. So what are you reviewing? Are, are you actually reviewing something today? Are you? Yeah, we've got three, re three reviews. We've got an app and two products. Um, we did it in the garden. It's coming up in 30 minutes time now, not too long. And um, yeah, we talk about the World Magic Shop Gaff Deck as well, which is coming out, which is like the that's new product exciting. we're launching today. Yeah, that's so, very exciting. Uh, more details on the show, but the World Magic Shop Gaff Deck will be launched today at worldmagicshop.com. Roger that's Nico really is watching. Roger has got the best profile picture in magic, haven't you, Roger? <laughs> it's a private joke there. Because I took it for him. How but, many, uh, um, Stephen? How many people do a, can do a Zoom at once? Oh, I think it's Facebook. limited to a thousand. Oh, is it? Uh, Stephen Harris is saying, uh, "Does Craig Petty still do the Wizard product review?" He's he's not been watching very much recently, has he? He's not watched much in the last six years. No. It's uh, such lovely weather. Through. Where are you? Where are you? Clive, Clive Fletcher says hi, Dave and John. Hi, uh, hello, Clive. And uh, a few more people here. Lots of names. Lots of people saying uh, uh, Ben Hart is watching. Ben, such a great magician, and uh, the fact that yeah. people like Ben watch the Wizard product review is. It's unbelievable. It really is unbelievable. This is where I am at the moment, Delapri Abbey. It's one of Blamo's nice. favourite places. And if we come in the daytime, I can bring his water bottle and uh, uh, he can walk in the shade as well, which is quite good. But uh, Yeah, hopefully another 10 years to come, Tom. That would be amazing. Can you imagine yeah. 10 years' time? 10 years' time. I don't I'll know if I'll be up to then as well. I think I've got another five in me. Another five. I'm not sure about ten. Uh, but the magic... Another reason I've not been doing it much recently. I haven't been as 
excited about the magic that's coming out, but there doesn't seem to be much coming out at the moment. I know it just seems to have started to build up again, and it seems pretty good. But yeah, uh, I always keep an eye on what's coming out, and I've not been that on. impressed with things at the minute. Right. Sean Hayden is now around. I'm going to see if I can add Sean. Now. Here we go. Thanks, for, thanks, John. Thanks for all your help and support over the years. No worries. Enjoy the weather, and I'll watch the show. See, see you, you soon, bye. guys. Bye. Bye. Right. So, Sean Hayden was there. Uh, I don't know if he's in. Uh, he's just put a comment. Thought Blamo was a sheep. I don't know if I can bring him on camera. So he can't be in a Wi-Fi area because I can't bring him on camera. But obviously, Sean is on camera during the whole show. It's not giving me the option to bring you on camera, uh, Sean. That's probably due to where you are, not strong enough Wi-Fi or anything like that. Maybe you can fix that and I can bring you on. Ben will be at the Deco for his show when the theatre reopens. Oh, what's the date for that, uh, Clive? That's... Uh, so Clive Fletcher is kind of like the front of house manager uh, at uh, the Deco Theatre in Northampton. Ben Hart's coming to do his show there, so that'd be great. Um, still not giving me the option to bring you on camera, Sean. He says he's in a Wi-Fi area, but lots of other people that come on, maybe it's a permission thing, and it says, do you want to bring them on camera? But uh, it's not giving me that option under you. Joe Wenborn, I could bring Joe on camera. I could bring Robert Fox on camera. Maybe start watching again on a mobile phone, Sean. Disconnect, and then maybe I can bring you on. It's uh, 20, 25 minutes until the Wizard product review goes live. Sean is sending me screen captures. So I've screen captured him because he obviously doesn't believe me what I'm telling him. He thinks I'm keeping him off camera for some reason. It's saying you have to send an invitation. Yeah, it's, but there has to be an invite that says bring, bring you on camera, Sean. But you haven't got that. Can reply. Uh, look, I'll set, let's see if I can reply to this message. And... Oh, I can't send you a message. I've done a screen capture, Sean. You don't have the bring me on camera thing. Sean wants to be in your video. There you go. Now I can do it. There we go. Sean Hayden, ladies and gentlemen, there he is. Ta da! Look at that. I've got my left down here. Take this guy. Oh, I can't hear you very well, Sean. Are you blocking the microphone or something? Is that better? That's a little bit better, yeah. I, ca I can't hear you very well. Really. It's very distorted. No, no sound. No sound. Oh, I can hear you, but very quietly. It's like you've got the microphone blocked or something. Sorry, that was uh, a little bit uh, distorted, and uh, maybe you'll come back on in a moment. Uh, yeah, if you couldn't hear that, Sean, it was incredibly distorted. Rune Carlson says, terrible sound. Steve Gore says, I've got locked down hair. Is that me? Is that me you're talking about? I thought I made an effort. It's grown over the years a bit. But, uh, yeah, Paul, Paul's right. Paul said you got lots of feedback there, Sean. So it was just terrible sound. So 25 minutes until the Wizard product review goes live. While I'm just walking blammo, I'll answer any questions. Right, top three tricks in 10 years, Tom wants to know. So... Oh, it's, di it's a difficult one because it's like, why, why are you looking at the top three? What are you looking for in the top three tricks? The best made products or things that have actually made it into my act? Like instantly when I think about two, I would say Stand Up Monty and I would say um, uh, 
uh, Venom Cube for sure. They're two effects that I've really used a lot. And recently, Metal Phone, I've really enjoyed using. And then there are lots of apps that we've reviewed. Probably the, be the best app I think we've reviewed in 10 years probably is Wikitest with Inject to close follow. They're probably the best uh, best apps that we've reviewed, but um, it's difficult to say. There, there are some incredible things that have been produced, like uh, Timeless by Jao Miranda. The the quality of the workmanship of that product that was just so so impressive. But uh, but yeah, things that have made it into my act. I think the thing that I'm constantly using that's not my own routine or my own sort of product at the moment has to be venom cube that's the thing that i enjoy doing the most uh paul kozak is watching nigel quinn worker of the last 10 years for me personally it's different for everybody it's why we try to have three people on the panel nigel i would i would say at the moment venom cube i'm getting the most use out of that uh keaton laser is watching uh, Roddy says uh, Stand Up Monty is one of his favourite effects the last 10 years. It is. It's so good, isn't it, Roddy? I remember myself and Craig sat down at Blackpool Convention late night in the hotel and we filmed like a, an extra special and uh, Garrett sat down and showed us Stand Up Monty for the first time. It was the first time I'd seen it and uh, it was just unbelievable to sort of see that demonstrated especially by Garrett the first time Cameron how are you doing if anybody's got any more questions happy to answer any questions Calderon's just pro posted a video link not sure what that's all about click at your own peril uh, uh, Tom is watching Tom Rose I um, wonder if, wait, if uh, Sean is back in a Wi-Fi area just yet uh, so can't see he's back in a Wi-Fi area just yet. I thought he might have reconnected or something like that. But as you know, when we went on there, the sound was absolutely awful. And maybe that was because of the strength of Sean's Wi-Fi where he is at the moment. Uh, Jason Gray's watching. Wayne Goodman is watching. So many top professionals that watch the I get a lot of messages on the day a wizard product review comes out gets sort of 50 to 100 messages from people that just say saw the show this is what I liked or is it true that you did think this and it's so many messages on the day of a wizard product review and it never ceases to amaze me who picks up the phone sometimes to ask about something uh, Literally, the, the biggest names in Magic Ring to talk about products that have been seen on the Wizard Product Review, which is incredible and humbling. And that's the main reason I wanted to come on here this morning, 20 minutes before the Wizard Product Review goes live on YouTube and on the World Magic Shop Facebook page. So you can go to facebook.com forward slash World Magic Shop and you can watch the latest wizard product review and once again i just want to say thank you to everybody that has supported us and watched the show in the past 10 years 10 years today hello mate from paul martin paul and uh, jamie raven put out an incredible effect with the the three envelopes uh, i can't remember the name but just now paul i'm sure paul will post a link uh, it's a fantastic workers routine not cheap but very very good how old is blamo blamo is nearly 10 years old uh, says kevin morton but he's he's not looking bad and he's certainly a lot more lively than i am sometimes in the morning uh emran says uh, he's ready to watch thank you very much emran rodriguez and if you're a member of any magic groups as well, like I know Nigel Quinn is great for this. Uh, Sean, send me another invitation like you did before and I'll try and get you on. Uh, please share it into your magic groups because these are products that are available from lots and lots of magic shops, all Murphy's magic dealers and 
uh, one of the things today is available on the App Store. Uh, one thing's just been sent in just from the dealer. And if you're a producer that wants to uh, get something reviewed on the Wizard product review, or you know somebody that is getting something reviewed, send us the product. Send me a message on Facebook, email me, info at worldmagicshop.com, and send something through. We do get a lot of things sent for review, but if you make it onto the Wizard product review, top producers in magic have said that it's given them one of the best spikes in sales so it's worth bearing in mind if you've got a good product and you believe in it so nigel's going to share all about sharing the magic he says uh oh yeah J jonathan farr just said uh i wonder if giuseppe the ice cream man is still around this was something we did on the wizard product review when it first started and it was literally the ice cream man used to come. And if we were trying a trick out for, a, for a, I think about 10 shows, we used to go out and try it on the ice cream man. And he used to look forward to us going out and trying the new trick on him. We, we had some stars in Magic like performing for them. He had no idea who they were, but they were top stars in Magic coming up to his ice cream van and... Uh, literally watching some magic and he didn't realize who he was seeing at, at some points it's showing him like the the hottest brand new <laughs> trick and he had no idea henry harrius is watching there we go henry i'm gonna bring henry on camera if i can oh i can't bring him on camera it, it said i could and then it said i can't bring him on camera it's probably because he might be in China, might be restricted somewhere but henry if you missed it i did say that one of the best products of the last 10 years was Venom Cube, it got said a few moments ago. So, uh, um, have I done many Zoom shows? Um, it's a good question. Uh, what I've done, I've started to speak to future clients uh, on Zoom, Jonathan has asked, but I've not actually advertised any Zoom shows as such. I have done Magic Over Zoom for people, and uh, but they've been meetings and client meetings about jobs next year, and I have done. But I've had some personal things going on over the last month uh, to do with my family and that kind of thing. And to be honest, I haven't really felt like performing and the the lockdown aside, I'm a, I'm actually pleased to have been able to take some time for myself during this time. So uh, Sean Hayden is here with 15 minutes to go. Let's see if I can add him, and let's see if he's got better sound quality this time. Sounds all right, Sean. Yes, you can hear me now. I can hear you. So, Fantastic. So Sean. We can't, I can't ask you certain questions because we've covered it in the show. Uh, yeah. But what would you like to say about the Wizard product review in the last 10 years that we maybe didn't cover them on the show? What could, what could you add to that? It's a bit of a tricky well, one because we, we talked for the first 10 minutes about the show. Well, you know what? One of my favourite times on the Wizard product review was when you had um, like the Wizard product review live and you made that studio in rugby. At the warehouse, that and was, we'd have the live audience would come and watch. That was great, and the only problem with that, and it became hard to sustain, was the fact that we never knew sometimes until the day that you were free, I was free, yeah. and if you're going to start getting a studio audience involved, it became increasingly difficult to give people enough notice to actually get down there. And Absolutely, but it, yeah, it, it, was a, it was a really fun way to do it for a little while. Because how, like, obviously we filmed this week's show, the beginning part of last week, but yes. um, there are times when we've had a scheduled filming day and you've had to ring me and go, look, sorry mate, can't, uh, can't do it, we've got a gig on, and so we, we schedule in like days with a bit of leeway, we know. We normally film on a Monday, don't we? Ready for it to go out live on uh, uh, live on a Wednesday, and that normally gives us a little bit of leeway. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, what it, what it means if I suddenly can't do it, or you can't do it, or Wayne can't do it, we're still we, you know we've still got plenty of time to get it edited or do it at a different time. 
And of course, we go to the gym every day. Yes, of so course. So it's perfect for reviewing the products. <laughs> Not at the minute. Not at the minute. I was just saying probably... that on the, f on the first part of the feed, the best thing about doing the Wizard product review is spending time with like you and Wayne and that whole ritual. And it is, it, it can take over your life to find three or four interesting products to talk about. Because not everyone's good, is it? And people no, probably I... don't understand that we probably look at about 15 products to actually then finally decide on five or six that will make a short list. And then we'll decide on the day of filming the ones that are going to make it into the show. Well, one of the questions that I get asked a lot when I'm doing magic lectures is, why, why don't you put so many of the bad reviews on anymore? And I think it's because we want to be bringing the best we see things. If, if something needs a warning, then obviously we'll give the warning. We yeah. really want to be showing the viewers the best tricks in magic that are out there, don't we? And to do that, that obviously takes a long time to sift through and, and actually research and find them. And because you're like an independent show, you're not tied to anybody. You're not just, you know, they're, they're coming from everywhere, not just from one location. Which means you're talking to a lot of people to be able to find them three, four or five effects to make a show out of every two weeks. Yeah, and quite often, I, I do learn this by working with yourself and Wayne on the show. Somebody's opinion on what something is bad is subjective. Now, we mentioned this week, it's so interesting that we mentioned this week, uh, a review of something that I actually said was terrible. And yeah. I, I'm not going to say what it is. And it was funny. And it was funny because how the ad copy was phrased. And it's still, yeah, my, it's still about. my favorite review of all time. It still makes me laugh even to this day because of how the ad copy was worded and then the gimmick that you got when, when it came out of the tube and you actually produced it. And we said it was terrible. Me and Craig Petty said it was one of the worst things ever. And yet there is a guy <laughs> who's done a very, very prominent TV spot. I don't want to give away what the, uh, spot, what the spot is or what the trick is, but he used this trick or this gimmick to great effect. It's so funny. Got a standing ovation. And yeah, it was absolutely brilliant. So reviews are subjective. Go. So when you say, oh, can we have some more of the bad ones? Yeah, you know, if a product, if everyone's looking forward to it and we're genuinely disheartened when we see it on the Wizard product review, you'll know. Anything that gets kind of less than 80% where we're not really impressed with, something that gets lower than 30, you probably definitely want to stay away from, in my opinion. But the, the product that I'm talking about, which is mentioned during this week's show, is testimony to that fact that we don't always get it right. And creative magicians can look past what something is out of the box and actually make it something great. Absolutely. Something, something might be small and incidental, and yet it could become somebody's closer in the right magician's hands if they believe in it. So, Don, you're going to say something, Sean. I wasn't. I, 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 just, I, I wasn't. And then he got pooed on by my bed. Oh, <laughs> live on air. <laughs> <laughs> Max Gibson says he's been watching the Wizard product review when he was 14. He's 24 now. I'm not even going to say how old I am, but I'm coming up for a milestone very soon. But uh, yeah. I, I reckon I've got another five years in me, but I cannot believe it. I keep saying it. Ten years of the Wizard product review today, Sean. And you've been on it for the longest. Apart from you. Well, yeah, I know, but uh, as, as a, reg <laughs> a regular co-host, you've been on it for over five years now. And there's a clip on the show this week, and you look a little bit different <laughs> on the clip that's on the well, show. Well, I think, I think I've been through 16 different haircuts, <laughs> 13 different body sizes. I, but I think now I'm, I'm getting like this lockdown blubber appearing now all around me now. So I'm going to be like, one of the hairy bikers by the end, by the end of the lockdown. Yeah, I know what you mean. We've all, we've all got one hair. So mine's growing out sideways. And I knew I, knew I was coming on the live today. I've, I've worked out a really good uh, way of cutting my hair with the clippers. 
And uh, yeah. I think a show detailing these brand new techniques that all magicians need to master these days is probably a, a better, a better worthwhile show than the Wizard product review right now. So, yeah, yeah, so well. I'm going to leave you now, uh, Sean. We've got 10 minutes to go and I'm just going to bring one other person on camera. Fantastic. Well, have a great day, Dave. Thanks Congratulations of 10 years on the Wizard Product Review. Bye, mate. See ya. Right. Special guest time, ladies and gentlemen. What a way to end this live feed as we're about 10 minutes away from the 10-year anniversary of the Wizard <laughs> Product Review. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Dave. How you doing, mate? <laughs> How are you doing? It's good to see you. 10 years. It's good to see you. Man, is it we really look a lot different years? now, don't we? <laughs> Mate, when we first started, I had hair. <laughs> it's just <laughs> no hair now. <laughs> yeah, my hair, my hair was unnaturally blonde. Absolutely, yeah, I remember that. I remember that, yeah. So it's, um, we've got 10 minutes to amazing. go, Craig, until the Wizard product review goes live for the 10 year special. You're going to see clips of you. And me, oh, when we God. first started, I know you were doing your Zoom show, your children's party show, when we were last talking about you. But uh, yeah. what do you, what's your favourite review of all the reviews that we did together? You know what? There's a couple that spring to, there's three that spring to mind, actually. Um, yeah. And it was when we were doing all of the crazy shit. Um, the first <laughs> was, the first was when uh, we reviewed that, Dan Harlan products, and um, we did. It that wasn't sketch. exactly PC, was it? No, we did that sketch where I pretended to be Dan Harlan, picked up the cash register, ran out the ran out the shop, dropped my trousers down my ankles, and slipped over and almost broke my neck. Um, yeah, that was that was times. also the other one that springs to mind. The other two that springs to mind. There was the one where we um, uh, when we reviewed that. Devon Night Trick, that absolute terrible thing with the mirror. And I you got on the phone Elvis. to the fans. I dressed as Elvis and did my Devon Knight impression. Because I'll think very much. Let me show you this trick. Yeah, I remember that. That was um that, and then that the was other one the was a great thing. Can I just say that was the great thing about doing it with you. We we both we took some chances and you were always up for anything, getting dressed up, making yourself look yep. embarrassed. And uh, yeah, we had a similar situation recently where uh, Wayne Fox may have ended up wearing a chicken costume at one point, and he was deadly against it. He, did, he didn't know. And I was thinking at that time, Craig Petty would have done it. <laughs> oh, absolutely. In a heartbeat. Um, and then the other one, of course, the third favourite, the absolute favourite, the thing that kind of defined the Wizard Product Review for a while was when we... Um, ripped into Justin Miller with the whole awesome, awesome, awesome thing, which led to me doing that magic trick where it was like Justin Miller performs crap magic, and that led to the magic <laughs> off, and we did the training thing to the Rocky music, and <laughs> we were going we to battle in Vegas. That was just ridiculous. That was, that was just so funny. Crazy times. Well, five, six minutes to go until the Wizard Product Review goes live for the 10-year anniversary show on the World Magic Shop Facebook page. Uh, do you remember the Psycho Ball, Craig? How can I forget it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember uh, iFloat? iFloat? I'd forgotten about that one. That was a good trailer. And if you just put in these phrases and Wizard Product Review, anybody watching in YouTube, and you just kind of put iFlow or you put in Psycho Ball, you'll be able to see the shows that we're talking about. And the amazing thing in those days, we used to get sort of 40,000 views on some episodes, which is know, absolutely incredible. Unbelievable. Here's uh, another Jonathan one that you've probably Fox. forgotten. Here's another... Oh, go on. Uh, Jonathan Farr says... I was just going to say... Hi, Craig. Hey, John. I miss that guy. Here's another one that you've probably forgotten. When we absolutely took the piss out of Mark Spellman, he of Britain's Got Talent fame, he brought out that oh trick God. with the eyes changing colour. And so you filmed a fake trailer doing the same thing, and you had those glasses with goggly eyes, and you were actually <laughs> playing it as a real release. 
and everybody was up in arms because everybody was like, Dave Penn's ripped off Alex Zam and Mark Spellman. He's ripped them off. He's brought out his own version. And then we did this whole trailer and it was just a giant piss tape with those goggles. Just, but you filmed it so deadpan as if it was serious and it's like, it's coming soon. It was hilarious. I completely, do you know, I've, I've forgotten more than what you've reminded me of so many things like that. It is, it's, it's incredible that I'd, I'd forgotten about that one. And yeah, Mark's just done yeah. so well now, with especially like yeah. recently with uh, AGT as well. But what he did on Britain's Got Talent was incredible. It was unbelievable. Phenomenal. Four minutes Phenomenal. to go, then we're going to have to go. Uh, so, uh, yeah, get yourselves, guys, over to facebook.com forward slash World Magic Shop and you can see the 10 year special. I was just explaining to people, Craig, before you came on, it's not our best show, but it was an, it's an important show. You have to do these things. You have to celebrate. And yeah. it, the fun we had over the years doing that show and with every presenter that's ever done it, you have to celebrate that. And I, I, I said before you were doing your live show on, on Zoom, your, your children's, show, children's show today or a motivational speaking show? Kid. <laughs> Just a kid's show today. Just a kid's show. A kid's yeah. show today. And uh, I was saying yeah. the best thing about the Wizard Product Review and why it survived is because we've always had so much fun. And for me, it's about spending time with your friends reviewing the latest yeah. magic obviously viewers get a different thing out of it for, but for me that's what it's all about just hanging with friends talking about the latest magic at that point and the bottom line is and i don't think people realize this that you know it's not like you really get, you you don't really get anything financially out of doing the wizard product review it's not like a big no. multinational business that pays your fortune you do it because you just love doing it. It's because you just like, like having a blast. And it, I know from doing it for all those years, the amount of work you put into doing the editing and the uh, reading up of the tricks and the performing of the tricks, it's a massive job. And it's a labor of love. It really is. And the fact that it's lasted for 10 years and you haven't gone bollocks to this just shows you know, how much you do care about the magic community and about magic in general. Oh, thank you so much. That's very nice of you. Uh, but yeah, it is a pleasure. It, it, sometimes it's a chore when I was explained. Do you remember when we had to film at seven o'clock in the morning one time? Yes. Yes, it was, I do. It was the only time you weren't available on the Monday and the Tuesday. And it's like, well, I can get there at Wednesday at seven o'clock. And I, I had everything ready apart from the footage of me and you. And then we filmed it and then I was editing it and then we're uploading it at 11. And it still went out on time. <laughs> But, you know, we've had so much fun doing it. I remember when we gave Sean Farquhar a coffee cup as a, as a you know, like, you know, we've seen how many <laughs> you've got your trophies you've got on your wall every time you film a DVD. You know, we've got our own trophy for you, and we gave him a coffee cup, and we wrote on there, best product or something. You know, just, I think it's that thing of not really giving a crap and just, like, <laughs> you know, saying stuff and doing stuff that people wish they did, but they don't and you know we kind of did it and you continue to do it and i think that's what makes it so fresh and so different well craig i know you're a very very busy man thank you so much for joining me today uh, i've got to say uh bye because it's about to go live on world magic shops facebook page please if you're watching now go and watch the show on the facebook and uh, leave a like, leave a comment share it into a magic group but maybe we can do this for one last time craig I'm Dave. I'm Craig. We'll see you next time on The Wizard. See you Product next time. Review.